Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to put your iOS device in DFU mode. Okay guys, so what is DFU mode? So DFU mode is direct firmware update mode, okay? And it allows you to uh, essentially wipe any data on your phone and put the fresh iOS, uh, whatever iOS version you want to put onto your phone. Okay, so why would you want to do this? Well, if you have a locked phone, Okay, and I'll show you this phone in a, in a second. We'll lock it, then we'll try and restore it. Um, and you want to get access to that phone, or you want to, you've forgotten what your passcode is, then uh, you can, you can uh, use this method to hopefully restore your device uh, back to factory defaults. Okay, so let's just have a look at this uh, phone here. So if we go into the um, settings, go into general, and then about, and we'll just check what uh, iOS version we're using. And if you have a look there, we're using uh, version 7.0.2. Now this is an older version, so we can actually try and upgrade this version to iOS 8, and we're going to do that now. So uh, let's just try locking the phone first. Let's see if we can put the phone in a, a state whereby you've forgotten your passcode. You've tried, tried a passcode a few times there, and then it will eventually lock. Let's see what happens. See if I can get it to go into. Alright, phone is disabled, okay? So now uh, if we try and get into it, we can't get into it. Now you can leave this for a little while, come back to it and try it again, and then it will be, um, you can actually try putting your passcode in again, but then it will lock straight away, so we actually won't get as many attempts as we just got then. So what we need to do to put it in DFU mode is we um, hold down the power button at the top and power off the device. Okay, like so. Okay, so we're going to hold this one down for three, then hold the power button down for ten, then let go of the of the home button. Ready? Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we let it go. All right, and now we should be good to go. If it stays blank. If it restarts, then it probably hasn't gone into the correct mode. If it stays blank, then you should be good to go. Let's pop that down over there for a sec. Right, so once you have your uh, iTunes installed, um, make sure it's the latest one. Actually, what we need to do first is look at the back of the phone. And I don't know if we can see there. This one is model A1387. So 1387. <laughs> So if we go back to the 123MyIT website and go to iPhone, scroll down to where it says identifying iPhone models and click on that. Uh, and this is the same if you have an iPod or an iPad, it's the same, same, uh, same deal. And this is a iPhone 4S. So we want to scroll right to the bottom and find our iPhone 4S. And we want to look up our model number. So it was a1387 okay so it is a CDMA model or it's a GSM model okay so once we know that we can go back to the top go to iPhone go to iPhone firmware and we want to look up the latest version for the iPhone 4s now if we have a look at the top here we've got iPhone 4s uh, da -da -da -da, which is the only one here for our download so we want to uh, click on that we want to save the file as. Now Internet Explorer will automatically change it to a zip file. What we want to do is just delete the uh, zip, uh, zip ending and type in SW. So we want to make it an IPSW file. Now if you're using Google Chrome, uh, it might be just easier for people to use Google Chrome because Google Chrome put, doesn't save it as a zip, it saves it as an IPSW file. And we want to save it to our desktop and we want to save. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're downloading the firmware that we're about to um, uh, flash on, on this iPhone. All right, so if we now go back to our iTunes and we're going to plug in our phone, we'll see what happens there. It looks like it's going to start up. It shouldn't actually do that. It should stay blank. Okay, it says, do you want to allow this computer access? We want to go continue. It's fine. Right, it's going to detect the phone. 
All right, it started our phone up again. Okay, you can see it's still locked. What we're going to do is we'll wait till it all installs with our iTunes and then we'll try putting it in the DFU mode again. Okay, we're just gonna, it wants us to allow access on the phone, but obviously if our phone is locked, we're not going to be able to do that, are we? So what we're going to do, or well, we've forgotten our passcode, so we'll just go stop for the time being. All right, then we're gonna pick our phone up again, turn it off while it's plugged in. Let's see if we can actually get it to turn off. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna turn off. All right, so now that it's off, what we're going to do is hold down the, the power button for three seconds, so one, two, three, then hold down the home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then let go of the power button, but hold down home. We'll see if this works. If you get the Apple logo, and it doesn't come to this screen here, Okay, so now we're in the right mode there. You can see the logos come up and everything. Okay, now it says here on the iTunes, there has been a problem with the iPhone, iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. The problem may be fixed by updating your iPhone, which preserves your settings and content. However, if updating doesn't work, it may be necessary to click restore, which erases all the settings and content. If you backed up this iPhone to this computer or iCloud, you'll be prompted to restore the backup onto the iPhone. Okay, so it's giving us two options there now, guys. It's giving us update, okay, which we can do, or we can do a restore. Now, if we do an update, that will download and update the latest version, or if we restore, that will restore all our settings, okay. So what we wanna do at this stage, we can go update or, or restore, or we can go cancel, okay. Um, better if we go cancel, then we can actually tell iTunes which file that we wanna use to restore. So if we go to Restore, we don't click it just yet. Now remember, restoring the, the iPhone, it will wipe any of the data on there. So if you've got contacts on there, if you've got uh, phone numbers, all that will be gone, okay? So just be aware of that. So this is if this is a solution for you, if you have locked, forgotten your PIN code, um, or your passcode, sorry, or you can't get onto the phone, or you wanna just totally wipe your phone, you've got some problems with your phone, then this is a solution for you. Okay, what we want to do is hold down shift and then click restore iPhone. And now this is the important part. Okay, so the shift click allows us to point or select the firmware file that we've downloaded from the 123MyIT website. It hasn't downloaded yet, so it's not on our desktop. So uh, we'll just give that a little while to download. Okay guys, so we've gone in and we've downloaded the file and you can see it's an IPSW uh, file here. You can see that it's an IPSW because it has this like a little kind of Apple looking logo um, there. So we're just going to select the uh, firmware we want to restore and we're going to hit open. And it says here, it gives you a warning. So this is your last warning. It says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 8.2 and we'll verify the restore with Apple. Okay, so you would just hit restore. You would go through and that would actually restore your phone. Okay guys, so one thing uh, more to mention before we go ahead and restore the phone is this phone was on iOS 7. So if uh, if you upgrade to iOS 8, you won't actually Apple won't actually allow you to downgrade back to iOS 7. So just be aware of that unless you have the SHSH SH blobs. So if you don't know what SHSH SH blobs are, uh, go to Google and type in SHSH SH blobs for iOS and uh, you'll be able to go ahead with that. All right, let's hit restore here. You can see down the bottom here, it's actually picking up all the drivers and it's installing the drivers for the, the phone. Installing Apple Mobile Device USB driver. Right. If you see on the phone now, we've got the little slider bar going across there. I'll just pop that down there so you can see that. Okay, it says there your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. So what we've done now, guys, is we've gone through. We've actually upgraded the iOS from iOS 7 to 8. And as well as doing that, we've wiped any data on the phone. And now we should have a phone that you would buy directly from the Apple Store, um, you know, freshly, freshly uh, upgraded and also with all the settings wiped, so fresh fresh uh, uh, set of settings as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so there you go. Uh, it's been wiped now, it's got iOS 8 on there and it wants you to go through and set up the phone. Now if you have a look on the iTunes there, it says there is no SIM card installed on the phone. You get the iPhone, uh, in the iPhone you are attempting to activate, okay? So it says please to disconnect and insert a SIM card in the phone, okay? So I don't have a SIM, you can see up the top there it says no SIM, so that's fine. Let's just see what we can do anyway, we'll go along with it. So just select your country. All right, no SIM card, so that's fine. I'm going to select Australia again. All right, we can choose a network, and then put in your uh, Wi-Fi password. All right, then we just hit Join. All right, so we're setting it up as if it's a brand new phone. All right, it's going to try and activate, but it requires a SIM. So to actually activate and get onto the phone, we would need our SIM card here. But as you can see, it's uh, it's been uh, freshly set up. Uh, and is very similar to a phone that you would buy uh, directly from Apple. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe the video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.